it's a constant drilling type pain. It feels like you have a hot knife going through your eyes. Well, for many Calgarians, the Chinook Arch in the western skies is a welcome sight as it heralds a period of warmer weather that breaks up the winter cold. But for others, it can be a sign of impending pain. It hits migraine sufferers the hardest, among whom a sizable percentage have Chinooks as a potential trigger. Besides debilitating pain, symptoms often include nausea and sensitivity to light. The headaches can be so bad that sufferers are unable to go to work. When I moved here to Calgary, within a day I had one. And I uh, had to go to the ER and uh, the doctor who treated me, he's like, you moved to quite possibly the worst place you could live for migraines. It is by the time it's full blown, like in the middle of the afternoon, it's a five on a scale of one to five. During particularly intense Chinook events, it is not uncommon to see a surge in emergency room visits around the city. Certainly in Calgary, amongst the emergency room docs and urgent care docs that I work with, uh, there, it's known that if a Chinook is blowing in, it's going to be a bad weekend or a bad day for, for migraine sufferers. Many sufferers claim that they haven't experienced migraines this bad until moving to Chinook country. When I moved to Calgary is when I started having um, migraines that were weather related. At my workplace, I realized that a lot of people weren't coming in and they were sick when the weather changed and I was kind of in that. It turns out that among sufferers sensitive to Chinooks, there are two different groups of people. About half of those patients who were sensitive seem to be sensitive to the pre-Chinook day, presumably when barometric pressure is falling. And the other half of those who are weather sensitive seem sensitive to the Chinook day itself. So it does seem that uh, Chinooks can trigger migraines in two different ways. Now the exact weather phenomena responsible for triggering migraines is unknown, but for the pre-Chinook sufferers, it could be the rapid decline in barometric pressure or perhaps the elevated levels of pollutants associated with a strong low-level inversion. Once the Chinook wind begins to blow, the sudden change in temperatures, wind velocity, or even increase in positive ions in the air could trigger the second group. Conducting controlled research to pinpoint the exact cause is difficult given that no two Chinooks are the same and that sufferers may have several other concurrent triggers for migraines. Most people can identify about six or more migraine triggers, anything from a lot of stress or being short of sleep to certain foods to, to weather changes. The thing with migraine triggers is that uh, they often need to add up to actually trigger an attack. An awareness of one's own triggers can actually lay the groundwork for treatment and prevention of migraines, enabling sufferers to plan ahead by limiting other triggers when possible if a Chinook is forecast and to take any prescribed medications in advance. If you're suffering from migraines, don't just suffer in silence. Talk to your doctor about that. There are a lot of good medications that we can use uh, to treat migraines and sometimes to even prevent them if they're happening that frequently.